Well, as of yesterday, Prop 56 went into full effect to hike the tax rate on cigarettes. Our KPIX 5's Betty Yu talked to one smoke shop owner who says the increase could put shops out of business. As of July 1st, tax rates on tobacco products other than cigarettes went up nearly 40 percent. At least one shop owner tells us he does not want to see the increase. A lot of business is going to go out soon by these kind of taxes. Mohammed Ahmed has been managing Alibaba Smoke Shop in North Beach for the last five years. He believes the latest California tax hike to hit products including e-cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco and snuff doesn't necessarily mean more business for him because the price increase will carry over to his customers. A lot of people nowadays are going to go online. It's, they save their money and you know like, so these tax won't really work. Just people going to go online. Taxes rose from 27 to 65 percent after the passage of Prop 56 in November. It's not really fair. I mean, we're trying to get people off of cigarettes that cause cancer and try to give them a safe, a safer, I won't say it's safe, but a safer alternative. David Stevens uses vaporizers as an alternative to cigarettes. As to whether it'll change his buying habits in the long run? 40% is a pretty steep, that's pretty steep. So you know, I have to think about that. For some customers, it is too early to see if the hike will help them kick the habit. I guess I get the point is trying to dissuade people from smoking. You know what I mean? It's not, even vaporizers aren't the best, so. Will it stop you, though? Uh, perhaps. Probably not, though. Back in April, taxes on cigarettes rose by $2 a pack, more than doubling the 87 cent tax. The money is earmarked for expanding access to Medi Cal, the publicly funded health plan for people with low incomes. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. Well, in other news, people marched in San Francisco.